with your money, don't care who judge Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love Stay out the way, if you a gangster, kill or a thug Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement Now your name on affidavits and court indictments Can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes up Yo! What's good, y'all? What's the word, man? How everybody doing, man? What's going on? Y'all already know the count, man. We back again, man told y'all i'm gonna keep y'all coming with the content man i got y'all with the great stories man but y'all just gotta promise me y'all stay y'all ass out the way out here man that's all i ask man we need everybody man to just live the great life man we need everybody man just not to get in trouble man we need everybody to make the right moves the right decisions man use your brain sometimes man sometimes i might move too fast before i think man but if you just sit back and think, man, it makes things much easier, man, especially when it comes to ruining your life, throwing your life down the drain. Me, I threw my life down the drain at a young age, man. I'm able to be able to, you know, come back from that, man. You know, I know a lot of dudes that's older, like, and, and they out here wilding, man. If you out here wilding, things can happen, man. So, like, I just want all my people, man, just stay out the way, man, because going to jail, going to prison or whatever, leaving your family is not worth it, man. That's not what we're doing out here, man. We staying our ass out the way because that's what we do, man. It's the key to life, and that's what I want all y'all to do, man. But y'all know the count, man. Turn this one up for me, man. What y'all going to do? Y'all going to turn this shit up or what? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Like, share, and subscribe. We got to keep going. Y'all know we on the road to 10K. We got to keep it rolling. Let's keep it going, y'all. Like, share, and subscribe this stuff right now, man. If you're new to the channel, shoot it off to somebody. If you're in a whole nother country watching, staying out the way, Trey, send it out to somebody out there, man. I need to be in all states and countries, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it, man. But not going to hold y'all up. Y'all already know what it is, man. And the story I got for y'all today is called Football and Violence. Yeah, man. I've seen it all. Crazy in there. But let me take care. Let me give everybody a little slight history lesson, man, before I get to where we at and what's going on. But um, when it comes to sports and in penitentiary, like especially in Virginia prison, like it was a big thing as far as when it came down to the gambling, when it came down to like Sundays in prison like y'all like I see like since I've been home for the last almost eight years now Like I see how Sundays are on the street like out here when I was back in the day when I was young I never really paid attention to how Sundays were Sundays just was Sunday We know football coming on but as an adult like a Sunday feels good Like I ain't even gonna lie you see people going through smoke shack liquor store boom 7-eleven grocery store everybody running do 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 Everybody's running to go everywhere to get what they need why? Because one o'clock is around the damn corner. But in penitentiary, like that joint is like, it's 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 times two in there, man. Like dudes are doing the same thing, but it's like in there, dudes is it's all over the place. You'll see dudes like Saturdays be lit too, cause it's college football. But Sundays, man, I'm telling you, man, like the atmosphere feels different. Like you can feel like when it's when them doors, y'all don't understand when they let us out after count, and it be like. 12 o'clock and we and them doors open man you hear everybody coming out man everybody is turned the hell up because football is on football was a major thing in there man you had everybody that had different teams but the majority of people that had teams in there and I, I and it was crazy because back in the day i don't remember a whole lot of washington redskins fans when i was growing up that was in norfolk but my brothers were Cowboys fans, and I was a 49er fan, and, and there, it's 49er fans in there, too. It's people that like Philly in there, too, in prison. There's a whole lot of people that like a lot of teams, but in Virginia, the most, the two teams that everybody loves the most is the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. Those two teams overpower Virginia prison. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. And I'm not just talking about dudes that's from Richmond or that's from D.C. that like to know. I'm talking about dudes from the whole Virginia. They are Washington Redskins fans. And they, when I say they are faithful down Washington Redskins fans, they love those people, man. I done seen them people had lots and lots of bad years of seasons, man. And these dudes will still be out there yelling and screaming and just trying to get a W for they can have, you know, this for they can talk junk. Because that's just how 
football is in penitentiary, man. It was crazy. Then on the other side of the coin, you got the Dallas Cowboys fans. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them, man. A lot of people like Dallas. Y'all got to understand, Dallas used to punish stuff back when I was growing up. They was they was the ones. They was Michael Irvins and all of them. But that was 30, 30 years ago. We talking about from the time I was in prison to the time I got out of prison. Dallas Cowboys kind of had it hard. Like the Washington Redskins, they had it hard too. Dallas had... What did, what did they do? They really didn't do anything for real. Like, they had that one year, Romo almost went, to, they almost beat Green Bay. That's why I can remember that year. You know what I mean? Other than that, I don't remember a whole lot of, like, they just, they, they I put them in the same category as just dudes that just die hard, loyal fans, man. And they used to be just crazy, man, because just, I'm just trying to put y'all in, in inside of how it is on a Sunday when the football is happening right before the football starts. Like people are running everywhere, playing their tickets, dudes at the door, making sure they pool ticket put in. Dudes is running here, there, money this way, money going that way. Dude trying to find some weed before one o'clock. Dudes making the drinks, trying to drink at one o'clock. Everybody is partying. Everybody is making food. Everybody's trying to have a good time because when one o'clock come, People trying to be locked in. It's locked in time, man. I'm telling you, man. So with that being said, I'm going to take y'all to Lawrenceville on this one, man. 2011. And I remember this crazy. This was crazy right here, man, because, like, I didn't seen it all. Like, I didn't seen, like, when I was on Sussex, I didn't seen dudes get into it over sports and argue and this and that and debate back and forth and who's right, who's wrong. They're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it's violence. I didn't seen that before, but, like, this one right here was wild right here. I ain't even gonna lie, man. But it was a dude that was in the pod with us, man. His name was DC, man. He was from DC. And for real, dude was an official dude, man. Like, I never really knew his name. Nobody called him his real name. Dude, when I moved in there from San Francisco, dudes was calling him DC. But when I came in there, I seen dude was job like an official dude. Though. Like, he, like I'm not saying no dudes, nobody's from Richmond. Is, I mean, um, nobody from D.C. is an official. But when I say he's official, like the way he moved, he was a dude that liked to get money. He was a dude I seen worked out every day. He was a dude that had his own stuff. He was a dude that had a jack. He was a dude that was just like a regular dude. So he was in there, man. And for real, for real, me and him was all right because we used to talk sports sometimes. But... For the most part, like, we really didn't kick it as much. But when it came down, like, by the microwave or we might be standing by each other in the line somewhere. But, yeah, we'll kick it. You know what I mean? Just small talk. But he was the type of dude, man, like, for real, for real, like, you really couldn't tell him nothing, though. Like, and I'm not going to say all DC dudes are like that. But you couldn't tell him nothing. Like, he was real boisterous. Like, he was, his whole personality was like, you know what I mean? I'm right and you're wrong. You ever met a dude? Y'all ever met somebody like that before? And, like, it don't matter, like what the conversation will be about. Like, you'll be talking and kind of like, you'll say something, then he'll respond. And then his response will be powerful. And like, he'll try to like, make his response super duper powerful for you. <laughs> you don't even really feel like responding. But, and he would talk long too. He was one of those long talkers too. But he was just one of them dudes you couldn't tell nothing, man. Especially when it came to them goddamn Redskins. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. He was one of them diehard fans. If you look in his room, he had like the uh somebody made him Lawrenceville. You can get all type of stuff made. He had like this this big it wasn't a sheet. I don't know if it was made out of sheet, but you know everybody has their bed blocked, and you can block your bed for you can lay down. And when you lay, just say I'm on the bottom bunk. I got a sheet tucked in the top bunk, hanging down, and that's hanging down, blocking my face. So I'm laying in my bed. All y'all can see is my legs. So he had the big. Somebody painted up a sweet ass Washington Redskin junk, oh, the whole junk, and it was big. And he had that junk used to hang out on his bed. You know what I mean? You go in his uh, his room, he got Redskin little stuff drawn, little posters. Er, I'm talking, he was a diehard Washington Redskin fan. And can you blame him? The man was from DC, man. So like, you couldn't even like, how can you blame him, man? So he's in the pod, man, and like. You know, the season didn't even start yet. The season didn't even start yet. It was about to start. So I'll say it was like not around this time right here. Yeah, I'll say it was kind of close to almost Labor Day. So it was like just August was about to end. You know, college football is already playing. And now NFL is on the way. Everybody knows what time it is. So him and this other dude, man, this dude from Chesapeake named Big Wheel, man, they used to always argue. And Big Wheel was the type of dude. Big Wheel was probably like, Big Will was like 6'2", you know what I mean? 6'2", kind of fat dude. But, like, he still would go outside and work out. He will play basketball. You know what I mean? He was one of those type of dudes. Like, he was like a big, agile type of dude. So, he in the pod. Big Will is a Dallas Cowboy fan. So, 
Will, Big Will in, in D.C., they stay going at it. I'm talking about y'all. Y'all wouldn't understand. We'll be in the bed. Morning time. Dude, still, I'm going to go back to sleep after breakfast. You go lay down. Next thing you know, you hear dudes out there arguing loud as hell. And they arguing about the Dallas Cowboys and Washington Redskins. So I'm like, damn. I used to, I used to see them. So I, I pinned that when I first moved in the pod. Damn, they argue all the time. Niggas like, yo, they they always so it'll be the Washington Redskins with him, and then Dallas fans with uh, uh with Big Wheel, and they'll be going back and forth. Everybody be out there debating, and it'd be a major debate. So boom, him and him and Big Wheel getting a big like, yo, listen, man, look, put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Big Wheel said, put your money where your mouth is. You talk all that shit if you believe in Washington. Put your money where your mouth is. The reason why Big Will was saying this is because they was playing Dallas Cowboys the first game of the season. Now, you already know Washington and Dallas play twice a year. To all my ladies out there that don't really know about football, Washington and Redskins and Dallas Cowboys, they play each other twice a year, every damn year. But this year right here in 2010, 2011, man, this is my word. They was playing each other the first game of the season. So, boom. They both are going at it. They both are talking junk. Big Will, Big Will saying, bro, we're going to punish y'all. We got, you know, this is around the time Dallas, they got, I, I want to say they had um, Tony Romo was the quarterback. Tony Romo was the quarterback around this time. And uh, the Barbarian, what's the running back name? The Barbarian with the dreads. He was the running back. And uh, the wide receiver, they really didn't have no good wide receiver. I can't even think of a wide receiver, but I know the tight end was Jason Witten. And he was like Kelsey back then. Y'all, if you know about Jason Witten for Dallas, he was like Kelsey, how Kelsey is with Kansas City right now. So Dallas had a little solid team. You know, they had the Marcus Way on defense. They still had a, like, they had a good team. Now, Washington Redskins, on the other hand, they've been losing for years. Like, when I first got to Lawrenceville, I watched them lose, like, heavy. Like, they lost crazy. You know what I mean? They had, I want to say Jason Campbell was the quarterback. Black dude, he turned out to be trash. He was a bum. I ain't gonna lie. Jason Campbell, I'm sorry, but it was a garbage back then. But they end up trading him right before the season starts. So the argument ended up happening because everybody went to the TV when they seen what was going on on Sports Center. So they got the TV on on Sports Center when we come out at the six. Him and Big Wheel, before Big Wheel say, put your money where your mouth is, they already out there talking junk because they done seen that they play each other first game of the season. So, boom, they out there looking at sports and breaking news. Man, they done traded, Philadelphia done traded uh, Donovan McNabb to the Washington Redskins. <laughs> That's my word. So, look, I'm looking at it like, oh, shit, Washington got them a quarterback. I'm like, yo, but... Y'all know how NFL is. Niggas get washed up fast. So I'm, 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 not, I'm not convinced. I'm saying they have a quarterback, but I'm not convinced. And the reason why they have traded, uh, uh, Washington has traded Donovan McNabb, because I want to say this is the year Mike Vick took his damn spot. He had to go any damn way. Mike Vick came home from prison, and he, his ass stayed out the way. Mike Vick came home from prison. He made sure he stayed out the way. He was done with everything. And that man came home and balled, and he took Donovan McNabb's spot. That shit was crazy. They traded Donovan McNabb to the Washington Redskins. I'm looking at the TV like, damn. So that's when they're going at it. Boom. Big Wheel said, man, just put your money where your mouth is. Just put your money where your mouth is. We ain't even got to go through that. We ain't even got to go through that. Goddamn. DC was like, you well and slim. Nah, you well and slim. You ain't trying to bet what I'm trying to bet, slim. You ain't trying to bet what I'm trying to bet. He was like, what you trying to bet? He was like, man, look, we going to bet. Let's bet. He said, look, we going to, Big Wheel said, look, we going to bet on the first game and the second game. We're going to put the money up. He said, we're going to bet on the first game and the second game. And he was like, and we're going to bet. My record is better than your record at the end of the season. I guarantee you that. He was like, DC looking at him like, man, you must be lost your goddamn mind. Y'all not better than us. I'm looking like, oh boy, DC got a point. Why? Because they have Donovan McNabb now. I'm still like they're the Washington Redskins. This is not, no offense against the Washington Redskins fans on this one, but you were the damn Washington Redskins. So I'm still like, damn, what is DC going to do? Because he big wheel calling his ass out. He talking junk. They arguing and woke everybody up. And they coming with all this damn nonsense about this football debate back and forth. So I come downstairs and I'm like, damn, I'm looking at the TV too. The TV right there in the middle of the pod. Like, boom. Yeah, the flat screen was right there. I come out, look. I'm like, dang. <laughs> I'm like, Donovan McDowell, goddamn. I'm like, that's crazy. But I was happy for Vic, you know what I mean, for being from Tidewater. You know, Vic from Newport News. I was happy that Vic got his got another job. Man, I felt good about that. So 
real talk, I kind of was like, damn it now. I didn't know what was going to happen. So look, DC was like, what you trying to bet? What you trying to bet? Got down. He was like, man, look, this is what we going to do. He was like, look, I got a hundred. I got a hundred on the first game. I got a hundred on the second game. And I got another hundred. God damn, I record better than y'all's at the end of the season. He said, if you lose the first game, you got to pay the hundred. God damn, when you lose your games, you got to pay. And then at the end of the um, season, you got to pay. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, but Dallas got Tony Romo. I was like, man, Dallas, Dallas going. I was telling myself, I was like, Dallas going to beat them. I was like, Dallas is going to beat these people, man. Like, for real, I wanted to, ah. Uh, Come in and get a side bet, but like shit gets so crazy. Like you gotta in prison, you gotta watch who you bet. You just can't bet anybody in there. I'm telling you, like you gotta make sure you, like you see two maniacs is clashing. And I told y'all, Big Wheel is like six one, six two, kind of fat dude, kind of big dude. DC is kind of like five eleven, six feet. You know what I mean? In shape. You know what I mean? He's not diesel or nothing, but he's you know he's in shape. He work out every day. He do him every, you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, this is nuts. Like these two dudes clash. But I'm like, I, I didn't think nothing was going to go down. So look, boom, got down. DC was like, man, that shit a bet. Go get your $100 now. Go get your $100 now. Let's get somebody to hold it. Every Before every game, get somebody to hold it. And we're going to get our peoples to send the money. He said, by the middle of the season, you got to send the money. You got to send the other $100 for the end of the season. He said, then when the last game come, we'll put another $100 up and somebody can hold it. Because I don't want no discrepancies. I don't want no discrepancies. Niggas be goddamn lunching. I don't want no discrepancies. I don't want no discrepancies. So I'm like, damn, he is right because... Dudes pull stunts in there, y'all. I'm like, you'll go downstairs like me. I done went through it. And I told myself I'll never go through it again. So it's money on wood when it comes to bets. This isn't a drug game. The drug game, you like I told y'all, y'all might got to uh, uh, give it to somebody ahead of time, to the first. Or you might have to do that in the hustling game in prison. But the gambling game, the sports, no. It's money on wood. You have to because I done did a bet with a dude and made a bet with him. And he talked all this junk, talked all this junk. I forgot. I think he liked the... Uh, 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 I think he was a um, a Philly fan or a Green Bay fan. It was one of the two. But he done talked all this trash. And he bet me this bread on Sunday. And Sunday morning, when we come out to watch the game, this is my word, the game was on TV. We whooped they ass. Kaepernick whooped they ass. You know what happened? Man, he called me to the cell. after Because you know when you're losing, you get getting rolled. Yeah, nigga. Nigga, you lost, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, it's us, nigga. Yeah, nigga, y'all can't mess with us. And he, when you losing, you just got to sit there like, ah, you got to take that shit. He took that shit. He was trying to act like, <laughs> laughing at <it> all. <laughs> as soon as the game was over with, he was like, hey, where's that? So, yeah, I'm right. Get that money. I'm talking to y'all. Get that money. Get that damn money. I go to this door. He's like, hey, bro, look. Goddamn. We bet $50 on the game. He like, look, bro. I got he come out with it. He got a bag of hygiene. It like I, I, I bought the shit off the rip. It looked like it's about $18. I'm like, a couple of deodorants. Uh, uh, he got an effort white. You know, the, the shit for dentures. Them shit's expensive in prison. You can order that. And then dudes be having that for an expensive item. You can pay like, I think that shit $12 or something like that. But I'm looking at the, the couple of items. I'm like, bro, what's this? He like, oh, bro, look. Let me, let me get the rest of you to store there, bro. He whispering this shit. And I'm like, I look at him. And I'm like, that's what I get for not doing money on wood. I was like, all right, bet. I took the bag. Phew, slid. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it could have got crazy, but I didn't. So I'm saying DC is kind of making DC making sense with this shit. So Big Wheel was like, all right, nigga, boom. Big Wheel went in his cell. Big Wheel went in his cell. DC was like, nigga, you snatch. Boom. He go in his cell. They come back out. They meet back in the pod. Man, it's my word. Big Wheel came down that bitch. That nigga had massive stamps. That nigga had probably about $50 in stamps. He had like $50 in stamps. Then he had like some more shit. I forgot what he had. He had a bunch of uh, boxes of oatmeal. Nigga had deodorants. Either way, he had his $100. He got his shit in the bag. He was like, boom, he smacked it on the table. He was like, my money on the table. My money, Big Wheel was like, my money on the table, nigga. I'm going to fuck y'all up Sunday, nigga. Hell is wrong with you, nigga. I'm going to punish y'all, nigga. First game of the season, nigga. You talk all that shit. DC was like, nigga, it's a bet, nigga. DC come out, boom. DC dump all this shit on the table. We got all type of gourmet, goddamn uh, roast beefs and meatballs and holiday pack shit. His shit, at all. they counted all that shit out. Boom, he tied his bag. Boom, dude got another bag. Boom, put it in the bag. They gave it to the old head. Boom, they gave it to the old head from Richmond the whole man. I can't remember dude's name, but he was a solid old head too, man. He was super old, old, like he'd been bitten forever. But they gave it to him. And he was like, boom, I'll hold the bag. Boom, he was like, bet. That money already locked in, so I think the following week, boom, it was in the game. And then the week after that, that's when the game came. Boom! 
Sunday happened, y'all. The game about to come on. Everybody come downstairs. Everybody hype. I'm like, damn, that's going to be a good game. In Virginia, y'all got to understand, the Washington Redskins are going to be on TV. It doesn't matter. It can be goddamn 49ers versus Kansas City at 4 o'clock. No. If Washington plays at 4, Washington Redskins would be on TV. Ask any damn body. Sometimes I used to get mad about that shit. I used to be like, damn, we got a good-ass game. Come on, 4 o'clock. Go to turn of the jump. Fucking Washington Redskins. They play at 1 o'clock. It don't matter if they're on the road or home. They on damn TV in Virginia. You can bet your ass on that. So that game was on TV. That game was on TV, man. So boom, it was coming on at 1 o'clock. So boom, everybody getting prepped. Everybody getting ready. DC standing out there. DC got the guy down. He got like a little... He got like a little towel. He used to always keep a little towel, like a little towel. He got the towel. He on the towel. He just standing out there. You know what I mean? Looking like he ready for the game. You know what I mean? Talking to his couple of homeboys. You know what I mean? Got down. Big Wheel out there. Bitch, Big Wheel sitting at the table over there making a big diesel ass meal. He making an exclusive ass meal. I don't know what he got. It looked like a wrap. I don't know what it was, but he had a table making a meal. And I'm just coming downstairs like, damn, look at the prison environment when football is on. Like, this shit right here calms maniacs down. I'm not even going to lie now. Dudes can turn to maniacs fast, but for the most part, this football shit calm maniacs down, man. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm looking at, I, I peeped the environment, and I peeped the environment when I was on Sussex of how football have dudes. It makes dudes feel happy, like, oh, this is a good day right here. Slightly like how, like how a holiday feel. My words, look. Boom. Goddamn. The game about the crank. Got McNabb warming up with the Washington Redskins jersey. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, this is crazy, man. I'm like, this is nuts right here, man. This is nuts right here. Romo warming up. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. So, boom. Gang, get ready to come on. All the Washington fans, all the Dallas fans. Because all those other dudes, they might bet within their little self, play the parlay or play a pool. And they just like their team. But they're not going off like how... Big Wheel and DC go off. They go off crazy. When these dudes go at it, they go off crazy as hell. So look, goddamn the game, come on. The game, come on and shit, boom. Jump crank, man, it's a defensive game from hell. Boom, they, they holding each other, a bunch of punts going on. You know what I mean? Goddamn, everything looking smooth. Goddamn, Dallas take the lead. Dallas got the lead, man. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, y'all. I'm looking at DC, DC, look, he's sweating. I look at him, I, I, I pin him. DC standing over there. He got a towel tight. Now the towel even tighter. He like this. And he just, he like, he, I know what he's saying. It's up, McNabb. You better not let me down. God damn it. You better not let me down. And I know he was praying slightly. He might ain't say it. Or he might won't ever admit to it. But I read his brain. And his brain was saying, God, please, McNabb, please don't sell me off. But I'm laughing my ass off my head. Because I'm like, damn, I don't know who going to win this shit. I don't know who going to win this shit. Boom. Man, it's my word. I blinked for a second or I went to the microwave. I did something. But when I looked up, everybody, oh, Washington Redskins snapping. Ah, they black and they going crazy. They snapping in that jump. Man, Tony Romo threw a pick. Tony Romo threw a pick. Washington got the pill. I want to say it was like a minute. Now I go watch the jump. Man, it's my word. McNabb went down that bitch and struck on those people, man. He went down that jump and struck on those people, man. I cannot remember the score. But I want to say that the uh, Redskins won that game, man, like by seven or something like that. It was like 13 to six or something. It was something like that, how they won. But no, McNabb won that goddamn game, his first game with Washington. And he knocked Dallas off. I said, oh, shit. I was looking like D.C. got them at the old head door ASAP. He coming down the door. He coming down the, he coming down the steps. He like, yeah, Slim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nigga, that's what we do. I'm telling you, they would. That was right. That right there. That was DC goddamn Super Bowl. I don't care what nobody say. That was his Super Bowl, man. Them Redskins fans, they went and give a damn if they lose every game from here on out. If they beat Dallas, it's their damn Super Bowl, man. Ask anybody, man. That's my word. I was like, dang, come down. He's like, yeah, yeah. That's what we do. Yeah, we got McNabb. That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. We we play. Yeah, we play. Big Will looking like he looking sick as a bitch. He just standing at the TV. He like yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we do. He going to jump. Boom. He dropped the bag. He was like yeah. Look now I'm gonna make a meal. 
I was like, oh shit, that nigga going to jump. He was like, yeah. And he was like, who trying to buy some stamps? I don't want these. I don't want no damn stamps. is money in penitentiary. Y'all gotta understand. Stamps is money. Like, you can send those stamps. You got a shitload of stamps. You can send them to the street and get them, you know what I mean, recycle for money. But in prison, it's just like, it's little miscellaneous bread. Stamps are good. He had a shitload of them. He going to jump. He said, he want to buy some stamps half off. I don't want these shits. I don't write no goddamn body. I said, oh shit. I'm weak. I'm like, oh. I'm like, this shit's creepy. Will, like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Your record ain't gonna be better than mine. Yeah, nigga. Your record ain't gonna be better than mine, nigga. You just, yeah, y'all got, nigga, that shit, they cheated, nigga. They cheated y'all niggas, man. That was a fucking holding. That was holding, man. Y'all niggas, man. That's all y'all niggas gonna win. Y'all niggas. And he started saying, nigga, this y'all Super Bowl, nigga. This y'all Super Bowl, nigga. We going, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't gonna do shit, nigga. Goddamn. DC was like, nigga, we going, nigga. Y'all niggas garbage, nigga. We own y'all. I was like, oh, they going back and forth. They going back and forth. I'm like, damn, like, this is crazy. It was kind of like, phew, phew, phew. One of those situations, like, they just, and I'm just standing there. I'm in the cut, but I'm by the action. They like, kind of like, over here. And I'm gonna listen to them, and they just going at it. And goddamn, nigga like, yeah, nigga, and we gonna see if you, um, and Big Will was like, yeah, nigga, and I got more money, nigga, we gonna see if you can put that, uh, hundred up, nigga, for that lab when we play y'all again, nigga. Nigga, look, nigga was like, yo, when Dallas play, niggas was asking, when Dallas play Washington again. Now, the only man back then, you know, we didn't have internet, and we didn't, like, dudes had phones, but we didn't have all that type of stuff that they had back, like, how they have now. So, the only person that would have the schedule for the games is the Pale man. I told y'all the Pale man in prison is the fan duel in prison. He was the only one that would have the schedule. Dude come out the cell. Nigga was like, yo, they play y'all in December, bro. December 13th game. Nigga was like, oh shit, that nigga gotta sit on that L. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, that nigga gotta sit on that L for that long. I'm like, damn, it's September. I'm like, they got two months. I'm like, damn, man. So the only thing Big Will had was to kind of hope he can win the best record. Because if he don't have the better record than Dallas at the end of the season for the other hundred dollars, and if Washington beat him again, DC gonna beat him out a clean sweep of three cents. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm like, damn. So Big Will like, nigga, that shit ain't no money. That shit ain't no money, nigga. You had that shit, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I got more. I got plenty of bread, nigga. DC was like, nigga, I got bread too. I got bread. He's like, nigga, you ain't got more. Nigga, they man, you ain't got no damn nigga. You a bum, nigga. DC was like, what? DC shot in his damn cell. Next thing you know, DC got down, come out with the sweatpants on, shirt off, got down. He's like, nigga, nigga, sh and I don't know why I got this serious this fast, but I'm looking like, oh shit. He like, nigga, show me I'm a bum. DC slept like in cell, like eight, like as soon as you come in, like the, the eighth cell, like on the back wall by the Behind the steps, goddamn big wheels slip upstairs like in one of those cells close to the handicap. I can't think of the numbering up there, but he slept upstairs. So when he seen DC come out, DC come back by cell. DC still by cell. He was like, nigga, show me I'm a bum. Yeah, show me I'm a bum, Slim. Yeah, show me I'm a bum. Yeah, show me I'm a goddamn bum. I don't do no, I don't do no plan. We can gamble, but I don't do no plan. Goddamn big wheel was like, what? Nigga, man, shh, nigga. His homeboy tried to grab it. Oh, man, get the fuck off me. Big Will, goddamn. Big Will, go up those steps. Hey, open my door. Open my door. CO, open my door. Pop, he opened his door. Pew, he going there. Nigga's like, oh, shit. Goddamn. DC homeboy come over there. You know what I mean? A couple of another dude that he rocked with from Norfolk. Goddamn, come over there. They, you know what I mean? Cause DC was cool. He used to rock with a few dudes. You know what I mean? Goddamn, they come over there. You see, goddamn, Big Wheel homeboys come to go to his door. Boom, Big Wheel come out with a cut off shirt, no sleeve game. We had to call Malone when he came out the damn cell. You hear me? That man had to call Malone t-shirt. He come down the steps. His homeboy like, oh, oh man, hold on, man, look, man. Goddamn, his homeboy talking to him I'm like. Phew. I'm looking like, man, these niggas all over football. I'm like, this shit is crazy all over football. This can't, this is nuts, right? I'm like, man, crazy, man. I was in no space to get in between that. Like, I knew both of them. I was in a par with both of them. I would speak to both of them. But I had no dog in the fight. I had no dog in the fight, y'all. Like, I couldn't get in the middle of that. All I can do is just be up or, or somebody that was watching the situation. And that's what I was doing, man. Like... I just was sitting, I'm like, damn, 
Now, I see what's going on. So, now, my heart rears. Hey, we get out there in the microwave, bro. Boom. My big wheel was in the cell. I ran upstairs real quick. Push. I grabbed my little shit. I'm over there by the microwave. Hunter suits up. Hey, hey, bro, nigga, that's you in hot water. Damn right, I'm gonna make my bowl peaceable before this. I know we going on lockdown. Goddamn King Kong and Godzilla about to clash. Both of these dudes is big maniacs. I'm like, oh shh. This isn't gonna be good right here. Somebody getting hurt. Somebody getting hurt. I'm trying to I'm trying to get in that microwave. This is my word. So look, I'm standing by the microwave looking at the whole scene. I'm not over there around slightly from where they're gonna go fight at, which is probably gonna be DC sale. DC Selly was another cool dude too. I can't think of his name. Damn. But he come out and he jive rock with Wick with Big Wheel. But you no, know, DC is Selly. He just cool with everybody. Kind of like how I was. Man, he come out there trying to talk to DC. DC ain't trying to hear that shit. DC wants some damn rap. You hear me? DC wanted some goddamn rap. He told that man he was a damn bum. Man, that man stopped. That's my word. So goddamn Big Wheel come. Big Wheel like, nah, I'm going to see what he talking about. You know, Big Wheel's slightly bigger. You know what I mean? Like, as far as weight-wise, but as far as knowing how to throw hands and in shape-wise, I'm giving that over to DC. I don't know who was going to win. Man, that's my word. Big Wheel, like, ah, he moves home. Boy, now I'm going to see what he talking about. Let me see what he talking about. So they all walk over there. So everybody back there. Niggas like, yo, don't make a scene. The lady in the booth, dumb as hell. She probably up there painting her nails like an idiot. That's my word. She ain't even paying attention. This could be a slaughter over the Washington and Dallas game. I'm sitting there looking like, shh. I hope she don't see it, man. Big Wheel walked over there. He got over there. He was like, what you saying now? What you say? I hear Big Wheel. Big Wheel kind of like at it. His feet, you know how somebody like, watch his, like, he's about to jump his feet. Like, what, what you say now? What you say? DC was like, yo, look, we ain't got to. DC back up in the jump. I couldn't see them no more. DC going. Big Wheel got down like, he seemed like he, he timed it. He was like, oh, he going that jump. Man, this is my word. That shit felt like the building move. I promise y'all, man. Like, see, people don't understand, like, like how prison fights are. Like, you might see a fight on the street or a fight on 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 um, World Star or something like that. But when two grown ass men that are nice size, bigger, they are both like diesel big and all that. When they go inside something that's almost bigger than a bathroom or a closet to fight, people. That shit, I promise y'all, they jump like you can hear like the noises. Dudes that been locked up know the noises. Dudes that been locked up knows how it gets quiet when people fight. Like it goes from ah, that's how the part sound. Yo, 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 to I'm talking about this my word. That jump felt like the damn building was moving. I said, oh shit. Man, he went in that jump. Blow! All you hear was blow! Blow, blow! I'm like, oh, shh. Somebody getting welded on. I don't know who. Somebody getting welded on. They are fighting. You hear the noise. It's, it's loud as hell. I'm like, oh, shit. So dude's starting to walk over there. So I'm like, I got my bowl in my hand. So I ain't really trying to, you know what I mean? But I'm like, damn, this is stupid as a bitch. I go over there and I peek. And when I peek, man, Will had DC ass. In a chokehold, kind of like he was like he like DC was up under him, and he was like his weight was over him, and he was kind of like choking him with his hand. But DC was goddamn throwing headbutts, mm, mm. and when he was throwing them headbutts, boom, he caught Big Wheel ass with one Big Wheel, let up off him. They square off again. Gloom, 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 gloom. Dudes got all in the way. I was like, man, this shit crazy. Went gloom, 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 gloom. gloom. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, Dang, this shit is crazy, man. I'm like, oh. This is my word. Niggas like, boom. So I guess they lock up. They lock up in that jump. Niggas like, yo, that's it, man. That's it, man. Man, that's it, man. His roommate like, that's it, man. His roommate going there. Ah, you see him going there and get between them. Ah, they still throwing blows. He getting hit. Blows come. He, he trying to duck. Got down. Nigga going there. Grab Big Wheel. Boom, his man grab him. Uh, nigga grab DC. Man, y'all niggas chill out, man. That's a rap for the police coming here, man. Y'all niggas fighting over the goddamn football game. DC like, man, that nigga better watch who he talking to. That nigga better watch. Big Wheel like, nigga, you a bitch. Nigga like, man, y'all niggas chill. Boom. Niggas get Big Wheel out of the cell. Big Wheel come out of the cell. Big Wheel don't look messed up at all. Goddamn. I'm like, damn. So I'm standing at the back of the jump. Everybody in the pod is looking. Goddamn. But the lady in the booth didn't see it. It's my word. A little bit of time going. Niggas get DC. I'm your arm. Get Big Wheel in the cell. They take him upstairs. Boom. 
probably about five minutes, about minutes later, you see goddamn DC come out with his goddamn sweatpants hanging off his ass with the boots on, goddamn it, rolled up. Rolled up like on some Muslim stuff. Like we had them rolled up at the tips, both on, goddamn with the Tim's on, going to get some ice with no shirt game. I looked at him, nothing wrong with DC either. I'm like, damn. That shit sounded like the Clash of the Titans in that motherfucker. I said, man, that shit sound like The Rock versus Hulk Hogan back in the day. I said, man, that shit sound like a goddamn earthquake. I promise y'all, when they went in there, that jump was, dude, it got quiet in the pod, and that jump was just like, bloom, 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 bloom. I was like, what? I had to go take a peek. Nothing wrong with DC. It's my world. I was like, damn, man, niggas come out in the pod, quiet as hell. Everybody talking. Dudes up at wheel sale. Dudes down there at DC sale. Everybody, I'm like, damn, all this shit over, goddamn. So niggas talking, niggas talking, niggas talking. Boom. I locked down. Nothing happened that night. Nothing happened that rest of that night, man. We locked down for the rest of the night. Boom. We come out for breakfast. Both of them went to breakfast. Both of them was tied shoes tight like it won't over. Like it's still beef all behind goddamn Washington Redskins. Don Donovan McNabb bum ass knocking off goddamn Dallas. I was like, this is all senseless beef, y'all. But as y'all see, y'all see prison is dangerous in all facets of ways. It just isn't this way, the drug way or the, the predator way or the gamble way. No, it's sports. Like it's all type of ways that prison is dangerous. Just like it's all type of ways the streets is dangerous. You don't want to go, trust me, you don't want to go to prison. But when we come back out, both of them strapped up like everything normal. You know what I mean? Not everything normal. They strapped up like everything is normal. Like they, they ready. They on ready time. So look, goddamn, you see goddamn DC Sally talking to Will when we come back from breakfast. You know what I mean? He talking to Will one-on-one. -on -one. Then goddamn, you see a dude talking to DC one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I mean? And then we lock down, boom, we come back out. And we come back out. Next thing you know, I look under the steps. I seen Big Will and DC talking. Like on some man to man shit. You know what I mean? Like on some man to man shit. Like for real, Will was in the wrong for calling that man out his name, even though it was a bump. You know, a DC dude, they're not from Virginia. They might don't know the lingo. They might think that's really that, that where they're from. That might be something that's don't call me out my name, period. That might be how a DC dude carry it. You know what I mean? Like, they get it mixed up because it'd be a lot of Northern Virginia dudes that's locked up in there in the Virginia prisons with us. But it also is DC dudes that be locked up in Virginia prisons with us. And they morals are different. And they got different morals. And that's just how it is, man. Like, so, like, you got to be careful what you say to people, man. So I felt like Big Will was over there not copping a plate. But, goddamn, he was over there at least telling the, telling DC, like, yo, I was wrong. Because they be down and they talk shit. You'll see them outside on the pull-up bar. You'll see them working out, playing basketball sometime. Like, they, they, they didn't like each other, but they still got along with each other. And that's how it is in prison, y'all. Like, you have to be around people you don't like, but you have to get along with. And y'all telling me y'all want to go there? Don't ever go, man. Stay your ass out of the way, period. But look, boom. Fast forwarding a little bit, y'all. They squashed that shit, man. Like, that shit was squashed. Like, it was a squash beef. You know what I mean? So, fast forwarding the tape a little bit. Like, after they tried to kill each other over that first game, man. Like, I told y'all, they got a bet on who's going to have the better record at the end of the season. And they got a bet on one of the end of the game, one of the end of the season games against Dallas at the end of the season. So, through the whole time of this going on, I am looking at these dudes, y'all. I can't even lie. I'm looking at them because both of them are looking crazy. Um, McNabb is looking like trash. Like, he won that game. Then I think he lost nine in a row. I could be wrong, y'all. I ain't trying to drag a Redskins fan, but I think he won that game. And then he lost like eight, nine in a row. I could be wrong. Either way, he was looking like some Gar Bino. I'm talking about Gar Bino, y'all. I'm talking about this man look this man looking like some goddamn trash. I'm telling y'all, like, he was stinking the damn place up. Now, Dallas couldn't say nothing more, but Dallas was losing close games. Like, I told y'all, like, they wasn't dumb shrap like y'all know Dallas to be. I told y'all they had the black running back with the dreads. They had uh Tony Romo, Miles Austin. He was the wide receiver. And God knows who else. I don't know who the other receiver was, but they had Jason Witten. Now they had a decent little defense. But for some reason, Dallas was losing close goddamn games. Every game was close and they would lose that shit. So look, I'm looking at both of these dudes. Like, they can't really say nothing about nothing. You know what I mean? Because both of their teams are some trash. Both of them are like three and six or something like that right now. Both of them. So I'm like, this shit crazy. Like me and my homeboy kind of laughing at it. We like, damn, like, 
you know, we come up to TV, look at Sports Center, go look at IW, <laughs> go look at us when then, you know, of course they showing the Washington Redskins highlights, they lost. And of course, you know, they on Dallas ass, they lost. So I'm kind of just, I'm just like, damn, this is crazy. These dudes about to kill each other, like, and all this shit nuts, man. Like, this over the, but I know Washington and Dallas fans hate each other, hello. It's like that all the time, any damn way. So look, the season go on, boom. The season go on, you know what I mean? DC then come to the realization, man, he snapped one day in the pod. He was like, man, take that nigga out, Slim. Man, take that nigga out, man. Take that nigga out, man. That nigga goddamn, man, that nigga some trash. Man, that nigga some damn trash, man. McNabb had like three picks in a game. I'm like, shh, McNabb is washed up. That's why Vic took his damn spot. I'm like, oh shit, DC on my team. DC worrying about that last bet. Nobody's trying to lose. He already won, he up 100, but it's getting close, it's getting close now. So like, nobody's trying to lose that last, the, seat, the better record and the last game. So boom, goddamn, they take McNabb ass out. They took McNabb out, y'all, and DC was in that. <laughs> this is my word. He was happy as a bitch. That nigga standing was like, that's yeah, you, super dramatic and funny, man. That's my word. He was, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, take that nigga ass out. Niggas was like, yo, DC, you know who your backup is, bro? He was like, man, I wouldn't give a damn, man. I wouldn't give a damn. Niggas was like, your backup is Rex Grossman, bro. Niggas was like, I said, they backup Rex Grossman? Man, it's my word, goddamn. They put Rex Grossman in. Rex Grossman coming to Jane and win a game. It's my word. McNabb on the bench looking stupid as hell. DC happy as hell because he won. Dallas lost that day. I'm like, damn. So shit getting close, man. You know what I mean? Shit is getting close. That bet is getting stickier and stickier. They have squashed the beef, but I'm not seeing them talk any junk. I'm not seeing them talk any junk, y'all. Like, no junk is being talked at this particular time. So look, goddamn. Motherfucking, they play, they play the goddamn game. The game is getting ready to come up. I'll say now we done went through the Thanksgiving stuff. I think they played on Thanksgiving, and then there was another game, and then after that, that was when they played. I want to say they played on like that first or second week of December. But the game was coming up, and this is a big game for real because at the time, goddamn, the Giants are the best team in the division, I want to say at this time. Then it was Philly, and then Dallas and Washington. It was Washington last, and Dallas over top of Washington at three. So this is a big game for both of them because at the same time, like, they records were similar slightly. Like they had similar records, y'all. Like they records was, you know what I mean? And I pay, I'm watching all in prison, I watch all, I watch it all. I'm letting y'all know now. Like I'm on Sports Center for hours. You know what I mean? I'm watching Sports Center at night, I'm watching Sports Center in the daytime. You know what I mean? So I I'm seeing I'm seeing what's going on. Like, you know, this is a division. They are in the same division. So like I'm saying to myself, like, damn, both of them some garbino, but like who the hell is gonna win this bet? They just try to kill each other. Like even though nobody was hurt, like they were the way they was fighting in that joint. That joint sound like King Kong and Godzilla. God damn it! So look, I say, man, damn. I told my roommate, I was like, look, I said, man, this 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 game is about to come up. That Washington and Dallas joint. I was like, you know, he was like, oh yeah, yeah, they got the bet. My homeboy was like, yeah, you know, they got the bet. They got the bet on this shit. I was like, yeah, these niggas. I was like, look. If, if if goddamn if, if if Washington lose, you know what I mean? I said DC gonna be sick. Watch, I said DC gonna be sick. He gonna be sick. But I was like, damn, I don't know what's gonna happen. Boom. Pardon me, y'all. We wind the tape the week before that. Tony Romo gets hurt. I said, oh my god. John Kittner is the backup. Tony Romo's out for the season. Shit. We come out for that morning sports center. I look at Big Wheel. Big Wheel looking like niggas like, damn, you know them Dallas fans out there sick. Niggas look like nigga, I'm looking at Big Wheel. Niggas like, damn. I pull up on him. I said, damn, big bro. I said, yo. I said, damn, what y'all gonna do with Kittner, bro? You know what I mean? Cause he used to talk a little junk to me, but he already know. Don't do it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I had Harbaugh at the time, you know what I mean? At the quarter at the, at the coaching position. Like, don't do it. My 49ers was better than both of their ass. But look. He was like, damn, man. He was like, yo, man, John Kittner, man. I was like, John. I said, bro, you got John Kittner, but he got Rex Grossman. I was like, if I had to pick one, I said, I'm going with Rex Grossman. Bro, he was weak. I was like, bro, I'm going with Rex Grossman. I was like, I'm going with Rex Grossman, man. But I was like, damn, bro. I was like, man, let me ask you something, bro. He was like, what? I said, bro. I said, man, y'all went in there and fought, bro. I said, when y'all, I meant to tell you, bro, like, when y'all went in there to fight that time, bro, 
I was like, man, that shit sounded like goddamn, it was a, a goddamn octagon fight in that joint. That shit sounded loud. I said, but nobody came out. He was like, man, for real? I won't even trying to hurt that nigga, man. I won't try to hurt that. He said, that nigga got some hands, though. That nigga got some hands, but that shit won't, that shit ain't do nothing to me, bro. I'm like a goddamn rock. That shit ain't do nothing to me, bro. I was like, yeah, bro. I said, man, but y'all niggas, wow, man. He was like, no, I just ain't gonna say nothing to that nigga, and I want my goddamn money. Goddamn. He said, after goddamn John Kittner knock him off, he said, I'm gonna be two games ahead of him. He said, I'm gonna be two games ahead of him with two games remaining. I was like, yeah, you right. He was like, I just want my damn bread. So look, boom. They play the game. John Kittner beat the hell out of him. I ain't gonna say he beat the hell out of him, but he put up like 30, 40 points. I can't remember. But he beat him. John Kittner got the W, man. Jason Witten had like two touchdowns. The Marion Baba had a touchdown. The Barbarian. Rex Grossman stunk the place up, man. It was in Dallas this time, though. And he stunk the goddamn place up, man. DC came out. DC was so goddamn mad. He was like, his face just looked dumb as a bitch. So Big Will, I see him trying to keep his composure. But the whole time, he's snapping about the game. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. He jumping all up in there. He happy as a bitch. Dollars beating up. I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. Goddamn DC face looking dumb as a bitch. Goddamn. That shit was over. It was all over. Goddamn. Dollars kneeling the ball down and everything. DC got to go get that damn bread. He got to go get that hundred dollars. It's my word. Got down. DC got down. He go to his cell. He come back out. He got that same outfit on again. He always used to walk around with no shirt all the time, any damn way. He got the, he got the scrub pants rolled up on the tips. Tim Tim's on, you know what I mean? He like, yo, let me holler at you back here, Slim. Let me holler at you back here. He call him back there. Boom, Big Wheel going to jump. You see Big Wheel come out with a bag. You know what I mean? Big Will come out of the bag, but that's Big Will coming out. They like kind of like, you see him talking and shit. And I see Big Will like, man, and wave him off. And goddamn Big Will go upstairs in his cell. And goddamn, when he get his door popped, boom, open my door. Boom, the lady open his door. He go in his junk. He put the bag in there. He come back out scrapped up. He come back out scrapped up. I was like, I'm like, oh shit. So we kind of like, I'm, I'm about to pass him to go to my cell as he coming out of his cell. But I pinned the whole situation. I seen him get his bag. I thought everything was good. He won the hundred dollars. Only thing they're waiting on now is the hundred dollars at the end of the season. Who has the better record? And now Dallas is up two games. Man, it's my word. Big Wheel come back down. I see something in Big Wheel pocket. That shit look bulgy as hell. I don't know what the hell it was. That shit was bulgy as a bitch. He come down. Goddamn, you see goddamn DC come out. DC goddamn come out. DC like, yeah, this nigga snatched. But when I look, Big Wheel going his way. I'm like, what the hell going on? Man, it's my word, man. I don't know what they I don't know what was said or what went on when he went in there and got that damn money. But whatever happened required more rap over this damn football game. Man, it's my word. Big Wheel charged him. And when Big Wheel charged him, DC charged him, DC caught his ass. Boom. And DC, when they, when they, they in the pod now, boom, DC called him. Boom, DC called him, goddamn this shit. Goddamn, that nigga Big Wheel went in his pocket. That nigga was like, that nigga came out with some sock. Look, that shit was in the sock. And when I seen that, when he came out, that shit said, Vroom. that shit fell about this long. He said, and then goddamn, oh shit, DC was like, oh nigga, you gotta, you gotta, you was a bitch. You was a bitch. And he like, he trying, he, he don't really have no way to get away because when he had, he kind of cornered. That nigga Big Wheel was like, this nigga, that nigga swung that jump. Whew. Man, it's my word. That nigga goddamn DC ducked that jump. That jump, that jump went. The sock hit him, but the jump went down. I guess it kind of hit him in his butt slightly, like. And he ducked it. And when he came up, he threw that. Boom! He caught Will ass again. Will grabbed that nigga. Boom! They fell this way. They got down Big Will on top of that nigga. Nobody's jumping in. Everybody looking like, I ain't getting in that shit, man. These niggas about to kill each other again over this damn football game. This is my word. They in that jump. Boom! Then they on the ground. They on the ground. The lady come to the jump. The lady in the booth looking like this. She like, oh shit, that nigga big wheel on top of that nigga trying to hit DC. DC a scrappy motherfucker. He get up off that shit. Boom. He, ah, he, she came off. He come up off that shit. Big wheel kind of big. He trying to stand up. That nigga got down. DC kicked his ass. Boom. Kicked him in his face. Boom. That nigga wheel. Ah, he ate that shit. He got up. He seen that damn sock laying over there. He ran after that. He grabbed that shit. Nigga said, Err. police coming in that bitch. This word. DC ran over here by the shower. 
That nigga Big Wheel grabbed a doctor. That's what that shit. Now, now I can see what it was in that damn sock because the way he grabbed it, I knew it wasn't a lock. And I wouldn't know it wasn't none of that. Man, that man grabbed that adopter and Big Wheel, man, DC wasn't that far. But the, I guess he thinking because the police are in here. Man, that nigga Big Wheel threw that sock. And that shit said, man, that shit smacked DC ass. But as soon as it smacked him, that nigga, ugh. police came in like, oh shit. That nigga was like, I felt bad for DC. I ain't gonna lie. DC was like, he couldn't even move no more. He, I mean, he could move, but he just was shot like, ah. Uh, ah, uh, niggas like, y'all locked down, man. Y'all locked down. DC was like, ah. Uh, ah, uh, fuck, nigga. Like, the police grabbed the sock. They're like, yo, the fuck going on in here? Man, everybody locked down. I look up. DC they locked us down. And nigga, DC sitting on the jump. They take Will out, handcuff Will, dumb ass. Boom. Took his dumb ass out. My word, that nigga got down. That nigga DC just sitting there like, fuck, man, that shit. That nigga moved his hand. Man, that shit put a goddamn decent little cut in his damn head. He moved his hand, that shit just start. This whole hand had blood in it. He moved that shit, that shit just start leaking. Niggas like, nah, keep your hand right there. This is my word. The nurse came, he was like, just take him to medical. They took that nigga out, they put the little jumps on him. Told him to put the little, uh, the, the, the tissue shit. The little, uh, you know, the stuff they have in medical. Boom, they told him to put that shit right there. He was like. He, we looked out the window, we just seen DC ass got there walking to the jump. I was like, damn, man. I was like, all oh, this shit over football. Like, Washington Redskins fan, they hate each other. That's a fact. But damn, like, all this violence over this shit. It's crazy, but that's what goes on in prison, y'all. It's violence over every damn thing, man. I'm telling y'all, man. You'll barely have a night of sleep without somebody getting their ass kicked. Now, it's not a fight every day, but it's damn near violence or fuckery going on every day. And if you don't want to go through that shit, man... Just stay y'all ass out the way, man. That's all I ask, man. That's it, man. But at the end of the day on this, y'all, like, for real, like, they they end up moving. They, they moved Big Wheel. To, he got out the hole for this shit. They moved him to the other side of y'all, which is the 80 building. They moved DC to 40 building, man. So they was, like, on the other side, separate yards, man. And out of nowhere, they transferred Big Wheel ass, man. And for real, for real, I, don't, I think if they wouldn't have transferred him, man, I think DC probably was going to stab his ass. Like, real talk, man. That man left a decent little cut on And DC is bald-headed, man. You know what I mean? Like, he, he kind of, like... Like, he had, like, a little hair, but, like, his shit was bald-headed. He used to rock naughty shit, but his shit was, like, bald-headed George Jefferson's type shit. And he hit that, that damn doctor when he threw it. That shit hit him on the top of his damn head. I, like, y'all ever goddamn seen something that was like that and you can feel it? Like, I felt like I felt the hit. Ah, because he threw it. Big Wheel ain't no little dude. And he said, Whoosh. it was like a direct hit. That shit said, Whoosh. I said, oh, my God. I said, damn, I felt so bad, man. And y'all are not going to believe the whole damn kicker to this story. Man, the whole kicker to this story, man. Why everybody, because after after we seen these people just go through so much violence, ready to kill each other from this damn football game. Like, I still was curious. Like, damn, like, they, they didn't even wait to the end of the damn season before they killed each other. Man, say word. Dallas and goddamn Washington both finished 6-10 and 10 that year. <laughs> That's my word. They both was six and ten. They was tied for fourth place, man. That's my word. It was six and ten, man. And I want to say that I think the dude, Big Will, he would have won the bet because Washington ended up being in fourth place, even though they split the they split the they split the the uh, two. They they won uh, Dallas. Uh, Washington won the first one, Dallas won the second one, but Dallas beat them by more points in the second game, so they gave Dallas the third spot, man. That shit was crazy as hell to see both of them finish 6-10, and y'all. Can you believe it? I can't make this shit up, man. These men was about to kill each other, and they both had the same bum-ass record at the end of the season, man. Shit is crazy. But, like, prison is dangerous, y'all. Like, that's why we must stay out. We must stay out, man. We can't be going through this stuff, man. So, like... That's the end of the story, man. Like, it's violence over sports in there, y'all. Like, it's violence over every damn thing in there, y'all. And that's why I be trying to give y'all every every story that I have in my soul about every crazy situation that I witnessed or I've been through because I don't want y'all to go, man. I want y'all to stay out here and enjoy y'all life and just keep prospering, man. Like, just keep doing it big. Keep chasing your dreams. You know what I mean? Keep being a good person, man. And God will bless you, man. God will, you, God will bless you with all the things you pray for, man. You just keep doing what you're supposed to do. Don't give up. Don't feel like I got to, you know, give up my dreams and go get in trouble to try to, you know, 
catapult my dreams faster. No, like your dreams are going to come. You just got to believe in yourself, man. Look what I'm doing. I didn't think I would be doing YouTube. But look where I'm at, y'all. I'm grinding, man. And I love doing this for y'all, man. I'm going to keep doing it, man. But that's the end of the story, y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. There's violence over sports in there, man. Watching it in Dallas. It's nuts, man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. But at the end of the day, man, like, just stay out the way, man. Stay out of prison, man. Like, that's just what it is, man. And I want all that. I want that for every damn body that's watching, man. Real talk. But listen, y'all. The hoodie's going to be on deck. It should be up there when this story drop, man. But if you staying out the way for real, man, Rock was staying out the way, Trey, man, come get some of this flyness, man. Like, it's cold. It's about to get chilly. You know what I mean? It's one of them jumps. You don't need a heavy jank. You know what I mean? I know the young boys like to be like this. I don't want y'all to slide in this shit, though. You know what I mean? You can't slide with this hoodie. You know what I mean? If you wear this hoodie, you can't do no sliding on no ops. You must stay out the way if you're wearing a staying out the way hoodie. Let me find out you sliding with a staying out the way hoodie. You in a damn way. But they good material, you know. They can, like they can wash good, they unisex, and I got them for the ladies. So anybody that want to buy a staying out the way hoodie from staying out the way tray, it should be right there on my website. It don't take me long to get it mailed to y'all. I do good business. I'm gonna make sure everything going good, man. But with that being said, turn this one up for me, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Like, share, subscribe. We need this one to go up, y'all. Like I told y'all, man. If you're in another country, share me out. We need it to go up, man. And if you're new, share me out, man. Let's keep going, man. Violence over sports, man. I got a bunch of these goddamn stories, man. Let's go, 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 let's go. But I love y'all to death, man. Appreciate y'all for watching again. Stay your ass out the way. Get your money, you don't care who judge. Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love. Stay out the way, if you a gangster, killer or thug. Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above. Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood. Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club. Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up. Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was. Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous. Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement. Now your name on affidavits and court indictments can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless. You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you. Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes.